The workspaces we see in Circuit Cellar are fascinating. The engineers who open up their rooms, garages and attics normally have a lot of equipment and sufficient access to components and facilities. But how is it when you are enthusiastic about designing electronics and a student and live in India? To find out, we travel to Mumbai. Good morning. This is Nishant. Hi. Where are we? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm Nishant and we are here at IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay, Bombay. that sounds like a um, prestigious college. Yeah, uh, this is one of the major colleges in India and rather even in world it comes in top 100. And uh, it has all the facilities right from uh, mechanical engineering to chemical engineering or you can go for polymer or electronics, whatever you think of in engineering branches. You and can what, find it over here. And what branch are you doing? Uh, I'm doing uh, my master's over here in electronics system, so which okay. falls under electrical department. Talking about workspaces, Yeah. it's a desk. It's basically, uh, you are being given basic amenities, what you require as a student. So you don't, you would require a bed, a table and uh, a cupboard. Uh, so that 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 and and apart from that, they provide internet. So what, what basic equipment uh, do you have? What uh, what so uh, basic equipment? I have a soldering gun. Okay. Um, I keep a good multimeter, but uh, unfortunately, the multimeter I have placed it in my lab. Okay. Uh, and apart from that, I have my laptop wherein I use number of softwares. What what uh, software are you using? So for PCB design, I use Eagle. Uh, which is the favorites of uh, I think 90% engineers all around and uh, being a student uh, we get a privilege that we get student version uh, softwares for uh, every costly software like MATLAB and uh, any type of software you think of we get student versions. Yeah. I also see you have a famous book on the table. Yeah, uh, uh, we have to prefer many books but uh, this is one of the book which I uh, generally suggest for design of electronics because it gives uh, some of the basic ideas which when followed uh, can be uh, very much useful in order to design any successful yeah. product. Because it's already quite a yeah, dated it, book. Yeah, uh, and it's quite a tested book, you can see. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And what, 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 where are you now? What, 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 uh, where I'm are presently you? working on my master's project, so in yeah. my master's project we require PLL. Okay, so, so PLL, uh, yeah, so face lock looped. Yeah, yeah, so I'm generally... I'm going through how I can implement it because we need to implement a high-speed PLL. What what more do you have on your desk? What uh, okay, what? So I, I have this microcontroller boards which I have made. Uh, this one was the board which uh, I made some long back, some some uh, one to two years back, and uh, this is one which I am working on. So, so what what is so it? This, this is uh, at Mega 32 based um, microcontroller board. So it has inbuilt serial port and uh, inbuilt power supply which you can use through USB as well as through external and there is this LCD port and apart from this uh, this is motor driver so you can use it to drive the motors and there are LEDs so I want to make a good trainer board you it's can a say. General, general purpose, general purpose board. board for so I'm yeah. I, this, this one this one is made as a first prototype so I am going to optimize it more and add some sensors into it such as ultrasonic sensors or temperature sensors yep. so that it can be used as standalone board for any type of prototype designing. Okay. Um, how, how do you get to your component? How easy uh, is it to? Oh, it's very difficult. Uh, this is the box which I use. This is my lab. <laughs> okay, so this is <laughs> yeah. basically your lab. Yeah. <laughs> this so, uh, this uh, box contains yeah. everything. Yeah. It's a lab in a box. Yeah, lab in a box. And what, what exactly is on the board? I'm seeing you're uh, yeah, doing some... Is, uh, this, this is a project idea which uh, I'm implementing. Uh, as uh, like uh, every semester I implement, I try to implement a new idea. So this is one of the idea which is automatic home cleaning. So uh, Automatic, sorry, what? Home, home cleaning. House home cleaning. cleaning. Yeah. So okay, so a sort of a iRobot? Uh, uh, sort of you can say, but uh, this is more on application based. Uh, like it's, uh, I, don't, I don't make any project which should simply stay in a room because I either publish in a magazine or and you're, you're doing a master's now. Yeah. You're, what, what, is your, um, what, what is your ultimate goal? What would you like to you know, do in the future? What, what uh, are you my, aiming at? Uh, my ultimate vision is to develop a, a new product which would, uh, which would uh, certainly revolutionize uh, the uh, industry. But uh, that is that is my vision. But uh, my present goal is to be a 
a good engineer and uh, develop some good uh, products and develop some what, what is your favorite uh, piece of equipment here in the room? Uh, in my room, uh, I uh, this, this is one of the things which is lifesaver uh, because uh, many times I realize, uh, I, I work in lab and come, come to my room and I realize that uh, this circuit is not working because uh, this path had to go from here and not from here. Okay, so okay. This so is a lifesaver. Is it more soldering or desoldering? Desoldering, yes. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> yeah. Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Well, I see myself, uh, I, I can't uh, imagine myself in that way, but I see myself as a good uh, and proficient uh, electronics engineer. Thank you.